Hello, this is Marbaz here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Data Twins with Quill18. Hey folks! So, we are slowly turning this game around, I think. <laughs> we are, except that the AI turned it right back around since the last episode, yeah. and that has retaken Delhi, but not really. Mm. Yeah, that's because the saves are at the start of the turn in multiplayer, Oops. and we kind of forgot about that. I gotta make sure not to attack until I took the tenant that gives me positive happiness again. Mm -hmm. I just... Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Then Better be able I to take the city attacks. again. Mm -hmm. Well, I did all my attacks. You should right. be able to take it. And I mean, you took it the last time. <laughs> yeah, but some of it's random rolls, right? So, yeah, on a reload. That's true. <laughs> it would be really awkward if we weren't able to take it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm at minus uh, mm -hmm. seven, so yep. that is totally fine. And mm -hmm. Circus Maximus is on the way, as well as a bunch of zoos. I don't know, we could also take Vijayanagara. It wouldn't be too hard. And I could grab that city. Mm -hmm. That would be useful. And it's yeah. a pretty decent city, 30 pop, so it will have 15. They do have two bombers in there, which is going to be a little mm -hmm. bit annoying. Yeah, true. We can also ask India to maybe give us a city. Yeah, see if you can negotiate now. I shall see as well. We need to wait four turns, apparently. How come? Did, how do we... Did we do some kind of deal when we declared war? Did we have the Incas you... come in? Yeah, the Incas. Oh yeah, right, we did. I remember now. Right, that's pretty much the reason why we didn't lose more units than we did. That's right, because they were totally distracted on the other front. Yeah. Um, I need to make sure there's a road to Delhi. Well, there sort of is, but it's not... Also, my city is still building Oxford University, which is really confusing. Yeah, I'm actually curious if he's going to finish or not. <laughs> we thought you can't build to Oxford universities, but yeah, I, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, we have the, the confusion every time we play. And for all, yeah. you, is it possible you'd like settle the city and then you didn't have your university? No, I don't think so. No, I mean, I finished building university in Ankara before I started Oxford. Yeah. And I didn't have any other cities. Yeah, it's no. really weird. That is bizarre. Well, we'll find out what's going on. Yeah, because it says you've got two turns left. Yep, yeah. and then we can grab plastics. Which would actually be huge for us. It would be pretty good. Um, oh, right, because we have everything unlocked for that. That's true. We're researching fl yep. flight right now. Mm-hmm. I have to get some archaeologists soon. Oh. I'll probably lose an artillery. I have an artillery at literally one hit point east of Delhi. No, it survived, apparently. For some reason, uh, the Indian bombers have decided mm -hmm. that bombing Delhi is the right way to go. I guess they do have some great oh. war infantry nearby. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yeah, they do. Right. Um. Well, if we can get vision on Vijayanagara. We can do a lot of damage to it. Yeah, I guess not this round. I mean, I could fire with one artillery this round. Uh, but I can poke back and forth with one of my infantry. Oh, that doesn't actually give me vision. Never mind. I was miscalculating there a bit. I'm going to position Wait. one of my guys to block Delhi here. Hopefully I do there. have one unassigned spy, but it would take a little bit too long to actually send him there. You know, I think I'll just send my spy to Costco. He might get killed, but should be able to still attack pretty quickly from that city. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a shot. Does have a lot Maybe of science. Mm -hmm. It will definitely be worth it. Oh, I'm not returning this worker to Poland. Come on. If it was a city-state, maybe. <laughs> Hey, hold on, can you move your artillery uh, that's to the northeast of Delhi? So the, the, that I can move my artillery closer to Vijayanagara? Yeah, the one that's on the copper? Uh, no, the one that's northeast of the copper. Can you move it one tile left? Yep. There you go. I had one movement left on this guy. Okay. There. I can put that one on a hill. And then... Let's do this. It'll give me a few more movement options for next time. This guy just needs to rest, and this guy has to hope 
What we can do to get vision is that you can move in with the Lancer, stay three tiles away from the city, then move in. Mm -hmm. We do all our attacks and then you move out to not be in bombardment range. That's the reason I built them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. that's pretty much what I use mounted units for a lot of the time. I think if I park them here, that'll be pretty good. And then this Gatling gun in Calcutta, I will try to defend Delhi with. <laughs> that's the one thing Lancers are useful for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and otherwise, useless unit. <laughs> the one less. token cavalry unit I tend to build is just yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'll put you back in Munich. Poor Lancers, no one loves them. <laughs> <laughs> Hope Poland isn't trying anything. I think I'm going to keep this one artillery in, uh, in Breslau down here. Yeah, I would. I don't trust these guys. Yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I kept quite a few units near Istanbul. Mm-hmm. And Poland has a lot of units. They do. Now, what did I lose my happiness from? Hmm. I'm at minus 12 suddenly, which makes me very unhappy. Can't just buy a zoo either. Here. Three turn or four turns to the Circus Maximus still. Four turns, really? Oh, I guess I'm taking a production hit. <laughs> Um, I think I'm about to finish Oxford. It's still being built. That's amazing. You you don't have an extra... No, you don't have an extra luxury. Shoot. Mm. Nope. I don't. Do I maybe have a city that doesn't have... But hold yet? on. I can get an extra luxury. In two turns, I can get pearls. I mean, I can gift you pearls right now, if you want. That might be good, because I'll get some uh, rebels mm -hmm. otherwise. Okay. Hold on. And trade for dice. Uh, do I have an extra die? Yep, you do. Unless you want to sell them, that's also fine. Oh yeah, I do. So that's that's great. Actually, that's probably it. We probably had a deal expire mm -hmm. or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it did expire uh, when I had all my pearls pillaged. Oh! During the war. As in, it got broken because mm -hmm. I... Got my pearl spillaged. Mm, they keep bombing Delhi, but otherwise nothing. Well, I'm really happy they're not bombing the units. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna move up. We right got now. plastics. Oh, that's amazing! I can't mm -hmm. believe Oxford <laughs> finished. Yeah. All right, let's start uh, bombarding Vaginagar. And I bet we'll get confused about it in the next game too. <laughs> Yeah, it happens every single time. Every time, and, and people always call us out. They're like, "Oh my god, I can't yeah. believe you forgot again." Like, listen, there's a lot of things to remember this game. Yeah, pretty much. Especially all the really strange interactions in a team setup. Yeah, because the rules are very different. Mm -hmm. Is that that's an Incan? Oh, Incan battleship. Okay, we have to make sure they don't take uh, Vaginagar over here. Well, I should probably try yeah, to say yeah. it a little bit better, but it's funnier this way. Ban mm -hmm. sugar. War <laughs> I agree. Order, world ideology order. Didn't we go order? Uh, yeah, we did. So we should vote for that. A uh, lot of people sugar. went order. Do we have sugar? Let me check real quick. Mm, I'm, I'm importing sugar. Yeah, but I'm I can importing afford it too. To lose. I can afford to lose some happiness. I don't know about you. Yeah, um, I'll be fine in a second because I'm getting a bunch of happiness buildings soon. So actually, I don't hold like on. banning in luxury, but. Uh, hold on, if world ideology passes, mm -hmm. we lose some of the ideology pressure because that's plus one ideology pressure for order. And we are currently in civil resistance. Okay. So let's vote for world ideology. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we'll gain more happiness than we lose from sugar being banned. Yeah, good stuff. I do hope it will pass. But quite a few AIs have order. It should pass. It is the dominant one. Mm. It's like everyone except India, Ram, and Poland. Yeah, it's too bad about the Incas. It'd be nice if they were a bit more isolated, but... Mm -hmm. Can't have it all. Uh, no you know way. the funny thing about a game without a lot of city-states? Mm -hmm. The World Congress is so interesting then, because there isn't that one AI that has like 20 votes and everyone else has like 3, 4, 5. Right. Yeah, Which often happens in regular games, especially yeah. if there's someone like Greece in the game. Yeah, yeah, because they just own all the city-states. Yeah, that's an interesting point. Okay, Delhi's still not at risk. This unit is still fine. I suppose I could even upgrade this guy. 
That's probably a very good idea. Let's do that. Three turns Circus Maximus, and three zoos being constructed. Be nice. Oh, do I have an, a spy? I do. Mmm. Yep, I think I, I had it in my, Delhi. Let's go. Yeah. Maybe I'll do the same thing. He can't kill us both, right? Well, he can. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he could, but that's less likely to happen. I'm also about to steal something from Poland. Oh, nice. I am uh, 48 turns away. Mm hmm. And I have one defensive spy as well. Since we're actually doing pretty well tech wise, I think. Well, yep. not huge, but not bad. We'll have stuff other people don't, so. Mm hmm. We're not actually that far behind anymore. Uh, I can't check income, but. Ram, for example, is only one technology ahead of us. Yeah, we're doing all Poland. right. And I think Cusco, the Incas were only what, like three or mm -hmm. something? Or maybe it was five when we checked. Poland is five. Yeah, I think five was the max. Okay. Which isn't too bad, all things considered. Considering our pretty bad start. Mm hmm. <clears throat> I don't remember what wonders this place had. Yeah, Parthion and Korwat <laughs> hanging gardens. Right, hang gardens. Mm hmm. <coughs> There it is. What a little chip passed. Nice. We did ban sugar. sugar. Got... Yeah, but we went up in mm -hmm. happiness. At least I went up to 19 from 14. Okay. I think we're about to take this city. Vijanagar. Yeah, I should be able Vijanagar, to grab whatever. it. And then I'll instantly trade it to you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hopefully I can do that while it's in resistance. Mm hmm. Great puppet. <laughs> Go to minus 17. <laughs> okay, I can't move my Lancer out because that did end its move. Uh, which one are you? The Ottomans. Cities. Propose. Hey! Good. I had the option to liberate the city. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> we still have one turn before we can negotiate a peace deal. Plus, we'd probably want to wait a turn anyway because the yep. AI doesn't always recognize the damage you've done to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, move down to there. Varanasi is about to get wrecked, I think. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it'd be really <laughs> nice if um, right about now the Incas could stop their war. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. trade. Could you make peace on India? No. You can ask the AI to make peace with another AI, but I doubt the Inca will be willing to do that. No, they're currently unwilling. For some yeah. reason, maybe to do with the fact that <laughs> I they're just crushing why. face. Mm -hmm. But Mumbai is now safe behind your borders. <laughs> That's true. Now, I don't think either one of us have the happiness budget for it. Yeah, probably not. too bad, but maybe later. I'm still at plus seven, but I like to keep some extra, mm -hmm. just in case. And I can still flight, but no, there's no point doing that. Or navigation. <laughs> uh, navigation is a cheap tech, but there's literally no point stealing flight. Well, I mean, it would still save us 600 or 900 beakers or so. Yeah, uh, navigation but is worth almost 2,000, so that's still better. There you go. Math! Do we actually have any antiquity sites? Because um, we could go for archaeology soon each. I, I do, and actually I have an archaeologist because mm. I stole one. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably finish ballistics and then go for archaeology and biology. Right, can I even work this? Like, how does this work? Because I can see a mm. site yeah. I, I Because probably, I, I'm assuming someone was digging it up, which is mm -hmm. why I can see an archaeological site, even though we don't have archaeology. Uh, yeah, 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 that's what happened. Now, I have an archaeologist, so the question is, can I dig up the site with it? The answer Good is question. no. I oh, cannot okay. actually work the site. Mm -hmm. So I'll just have yeah, to we... leave him in Berlin. Where is that site? I remembered some site that the AI it's, was uh, working. It's northeast of Breslau, just to the left of the Polish Great War Infantry. Mm. That is disturbingly close to my territory. Oh yeah, I see it. 
I guess I'll leave the Great General down here, maybe. And if you hover over it, it doesn't actually say on the tooltip that it's an antiquity. No, it just says grassland. <laughs> yeah. That's very interesting. Undercover antiquity site. <laughs> so I don't know what to do with my military units now, because we're obviously not moving to take mm -hmm. anything else. I guess I'll just move to where I can defend Delhi. Yep. So this went well. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. No real complaints. That Lancer almost died taking the city, although I guess it can't. Uh, boom. Automate you, that's fine. You be sitting tight. India yeah. is at minus 68 gold per turn. <laughs> Out. And their uh, their happiness was quite boring. I actually bounced yeah. back a bit, but mm -hmm. Poland's taking a minus 24. And it's actually negative two happiness, and wow. Siam's negative yeah. nine. It's so rare to see the AI actually at negative happiness. Yeah. Ever. Very rare. It's usually when they go super wide with, like, dozens of cities. Yeah, it doesn't help that we banned a luxury resource. Okay, well, next turn, Circus Maximus. And it's quite often Shaka, or some other AIs like that. Mm. Shaka seems to just ignore tourism a lot of the time, so he gets massive unhappiness in the late game. I had that happen several times. Oh, yeah. And he's super expansionist too, so he tends to spam cities all over the place. Oh, can I get a Neutwinstein? Usually I can. I forgot that I could build it. There's not that many build, uh, mountains on the map, so I might be able to grab yeah. it. Although I suppose Cusco always starts next to a mountain. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure they've got that bias. Alright, well, we should try to peace out with them. Um... Oh, they'll give me another city. I... Mm -hmm. Agra. Which one? Agra. Oh, right. In the sea there. It's interesting. Uh, I well. guess I would get the full 14 pop. No, there's no way I can take that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But maybe I, you well, can. You've got positive happiness. I suppose I could, but... You know, it would be so much easier to decide if we knew where oil is. There might be some oil over there. There's a very good chance there is. That's a good point. Um, it'd be interesting if we could see if there were any fishing boats in the sea that we can't really account mm -hmm. for. But thing is, we will be taking cities from the Inca, and we'll need happiness for that. Mm -hmm. We can't reach Cusco without taking all these other cities on the way. Yeah, there are double furs there, but yeah, I just see if we can get some money out of them. Oh no, they're broke. Of course. You can I... you can get their furs. Yeah, I'll take both furs. Oh, I can't take both. Yeah, just one. Poo, and then force an embassy. I guess that'll be that. Mhm. Mm there you go, Gandhi. See, I'm just a peace-loving guy. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the war, bro. Wasn't anything personal. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't about you at all. It was entirely about the Incans. Yeah, this is true. What would be interesting... We're just moving through. Yeah, is if we could actually, like, block the Incans from being able to get to the Indian city. Like, if we could get open borders. Here, I will give you an embassy. What would you give me for open borders? Yeah, no way to make the trade. Probably they have antiquity sites and they're worried about that. They do have an archaeologist kicking around. Because yeah. yeah, that would be that would be amazing. Alright, I'm mostly gonna move my troops over to Incan border and wait. Although they're gonna take the city. God damn, that's gonna change everything. We do have borders close enough to Varanasi that we'll be able to just like bombard it from turn one, which is always a really nice thing. If we actually want to bother taking Varanasi. Oh, that's true. I mean, we, we could skip it. We could always burn it, take mm. it and burn it down, too. I suppose it will depend on whether the Inca take it or not. Mm -hmm. They probably will, but they didn't do it yet. They might not be able to do it. I mean, there's a great war infantry defending it. There's a frigate inside. And they don't have open borders with you, which means your tiles are kind of blocking access to the city. Yeah, that's true. So they might not be able to take it. It depends I on actually how don't much think. air is going on there. They even have a triplane. Yeah, hmm, interesting. So, so I now, queued up archaeology into biology. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now all we need are some anti-aircraft guns. 
Oh, that's the other thing. We could beeline straight for ballistics. Mm -hmm. Depends yeah, on how I badly think... we want oil, but yeah, you're right. We need I think we should, because we need to get started on the Inca sometime soon. Yeah. And doing it without any anti-air defenses would be a little bit suicidal, most likely. Yeah, and we need oil for planes, but we probably won't have air superiority, because likely they'll have anti-air mm -hmm. and they'll have fighters, so planes are yeah. not going to be as useful as just defending our artillery. Oh, Varanasi did fall. Yep, it did. Oh, well. And I wonder if they'll peace out and Incas will, or India will give Inca a city. You know, we could always liberate Varanasi on the way because we, we don't actually need that city. Well, it's not a bad idea. Mm hmm. I think it's better to just liberate it, give it back to India. I like that plan. I don't like this mountain on the way, east of Vilcabamba. Oh, yeah, there. No. Mm. Yeah, because the Incas borders do push out fairly far from that. Let's see here. This would be a fine spot for it. Oops. Eastern production. Actually, I don't want to stay on the production for now. I don't want to grow too fast. We'll probably still grow next turn somewhere. Well, maybe not. <laughs> the AI is still buying horses. <laughs> <laughs> what? Japan is buying horses. <laughs> I wonder if they got enough money for me too. Dude, I got like 20 horses for you, bro. <laughs> nope. Mm, just uh, mine then. Uh, I do have uh, iron still, so I should check that. Oop, we're between turns. And actually, we'll, uh, we should probably put a cut in here. Oh yeah, right. We probably should. Oh, India retook the city. Oh, interesting. Go, go India! <laughs> yeah, go India. <laughs> So, let's finish this episode here. Yeah, sounds good to me. Thanks for Thanks watching. Thanks for watching, everyone. everyone. See you next time. See you next time.